Hello folks, Don Rowley of the Colorado Springs Bujikan Dojo, here to help expose yet another lie by noted fraud and incompetent martial artist Frank Dukes. As you can tell, right here, Frank Dukes in his own words on this screenshot. Second little message from the top, you were told by me to stand down but jumped in the car when none knew who the fuck you are or your situation which turned into a clusterfuck by you. You could have been golden in spite of this, but are too self-absorbed and egotistical to comprehend how this is remotely possible. Now, this is where Dukes is telling me that I could have been golden simply by closing everything off the internet and taking the fall for Dukes sending members of the Black Dragon Fighting Society to confront Roly about Roly calling him a fraud. Of course, Dukes' whole comments about the circle jerk between uh, Roly and the other mentally disturbed boys in adult bodies is excluding himself and his own actions. The things that he is doing to put himself right there to be called out. The fact that he's sending people to act as proxies for him instead of stepping up himself like a fucking man. Again, to that Yang in the effort to get correct information out there is that I have to correct a lot of the falsehoods and misconceptions out there. And a lot of these falsehoods come from fraud such as Frank Dukes. The reason is simple. Despite having no training or experience, knowledge, whatever, in the subject, their ego forces them to talk a lot to gain attention so people admire them. So they tell tall stories, interesting stories, etc. that have no basis in reality. And then it's up to people like me to clean up the mess. So I have put out videos exposing a lot of Frank Dukes' lies. And Don Rowley here with a video blog about martial arts internet culture. You can't stay too long on the internet if you're active in martial arts without running across the you don't dare face me in person defensive tactic used by I'm from Colorado. I'm standing here in Lexington, Kentucky, which is a beautiful city, by the way. And I'm going to be doing a Tanto Jitsu seminar on Saturday, Sunday at this location. Now, this is relevant because an hour away from here is a place called Beckley, West Virginia, home to Ron Collins. Now, Ron, of course, being Ron, has made a lot of noise over the years about facing me. And so I'm here, not only an hour away from where he lives, but this weekend, there's going to be an event in Lexington, Kentucky, uh, headed by the BDFS, the Bukaki Dragon Belching Society, which Ron is going to be taking, care of, taking part of. I have made it known that I will be here. We are 16 minutes, according to MapQuest, from the event. And I have let him know that he can show up and challenge me if he wants. We will not call the cops. I have made it known that I will be here. We are 16 minutes, according to MapQuest, from the event. And I have let him know that he can show up and challenge me if he wants. If he wants to challenge me. Making this public challenge, he has evidence that he is not trespassing or stalking. He is invited to come and make a challenge. I have made it known that I will be... And I have let him know that he can show up and challenge me if he wants. This weekend, there's going to be an event in Lexington, Kentucky, uh, headed by the BDFS, the Bukaki Dragon Belching Society. Folks, Don Rowley of the Colorado Springs Bujikan Dojo, here to help expose yet another lie by noted fraud and incompetent martial artist Frank Dukes. The effort to get correct information out there is that I have to correct 
a lot of the falsehoods and misconceptions out there. And a lot of these falsehoods come from fraud, such as Frank Dukes. I call myself Don. Don. Badass Don that wants to pick on the dragons? Oh, I will give my opinion, and I've got the First Amendment right to do so. Okay, now, if somebody in your organization that is named Soke was actually, you know, has a link to Japan and was named a Soke? People like Frank Dukes, who is a fraud. Hey, but you've got people that basically have lied, uh, criminal record, not the only person. You know, I have no respect at all for the Black Dragon fighting side. I, in general, you know. What about me? You don't think I'm respectful to you? Uh, I don't What care. about the rest of you guys? Do you think I'm being respectful or disrespectful? Uh, so far, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I don't know you. I don't recognize and, and you. That's what we want to do. We want to keep it all respect. And we respect the people. You know, when we come here to state our case, that we are a respectful group of men, and we don't take shit off other people running them out on the internet saying you want to fight because we're the kind of people just come on over here and fight you. Okay. I. Is that what you want to do to me? Because I'm a black dragon member, and if you want to do something to them, you can disrespect me by fighting me. We can get at it, right? We were, we were I don't want to tear up this center. You know what I'm saying? So we can go right out in the street. So why, why, when I was... I'm not talking about him, man. Right, you now... You me because I'm a member, too. Oh, so... I'm trying to squash this shit about you, excuse my language, but you talking about the Black Dragons, okay? Right. There might be somebody you have beef with, but it's right. not all of them. Well, when you let someone in, that is a proven fraud and a proven criminal, then I have problems with an organization like that. We're trying to, to pick on other people that call themselves martial artists. I don't have problems with people. Have you like I have standards. And what is your standard? Uh, basically, so you, you pick you out everybody else's stuff. You tell you the truth. Them. You tell the truth. You do your honest best. Make, you're making false accusations like right. that because right. you're right. lucky okay, look. these guys came with me because my Step back, step right, back. back. With your okay. goddamn ass. I think you're just a little faggot ass okay, bitch listen, hiding listen. behind the Okay, let's go, let's go over here. Hiding, over here. hiding behind let's the law. Let's go. So, that's all it is. You ain't gonna fight me. <laughs> you ain't got the balls. Tell me now. Come on, guys. Look, I don't know. I know you guys are dealing with here, but this is a mutual obviously this man is not completely right in his mind, okay? Uh, that's, a, that's, that's you, not you, even... You are very question. disrespectful, <laughs> and I've never been trained one freaking minute on how to do martial arts, but I'll take your ass right out here in the street and wax you, boy. I invited Ron Collins to and, step down and, and challenge Ron Are you here to challenge me to a fight? Let's go. No. He's not. Now, let me make this clear. Let me make this clear. This whole thing comes about because Ron Collins has been saying that I've been afraid to face him personally. Okay. That's why he gave me the announcement that he could come down and challenge me.
case. Ron would go to the hospital, but nobody would go to jail. If he shows up, then yeah, I'm willing to give him a match. You know, if he wants a challenge, the only conditions are, is it only going to be him? Is it only going to be me? There's going to be no weapons? And people jump in to make sure that as soon as somebody gets a, a, a serious wound that will send him to the hospital, everything's over. And people jump in to make sure that as soon as somebody gets a, a, a serious wound that will send him to the hospital, everything's over. As soon as somebody gets a, a, a serious wound that will send him to the hospital, everything's over. As soon as somebody gets a, a, a serious wound that will send him to the hospital, everything's over.